Hey everyone, I'm Krista Seiden, and I'm really excited to be here with Brian Stark, who's a product manager on Google Analytics. And today, Brian is gonna tell us all about exporting data from Google Analytics for properties to BigQuery. Now, this is a big deal to be able to directly export your data from Google Analytics to BigQuery, and so I'm really excited for Brian to go ahead and tell us all about it. Thank you, Krista. Thanks for the nice introduction. I'm very excited to talk to you today about the BigQuery export for Google Analytics. As Krista mentioned, my name is Brian Stark, and I'm a product manager here at Google Analytics. Let me show you some slides first. The BigQuery export for Google Analytics. First, what is BigQuery? BigQuery is a cloud data warehouse that lets you run super fast queries of large data sets anywhere that Google has a cloud region around the globe. The export from Google Analytics provides you the complete log of events that come into BigQuery. So you get all of the raw data event by event as Google Analytics collects it. The reason people use the BigQuery export for Google Analytics is to train their own custom models around their customers and users, as well as to do joins with other data sets. You must set up a Google Platform account and enable the BigQuery APIs in order to use the export for Google Analytics. So let me show you how it works. Here I am in the admin panel of Google Analytics. I can go ahead and go to the BigQuery linking section to configure a BigQuery link. So you'll see here, there's no link created. And I'll go ahead and hit the link button to create one. The first thing it's going to ask me to do is to link to a project I manage. And I'll go ahead and do that by clicking this button that says, choose a BigQuery project. And it'll pull up all the cloud projects I have access to. I'm going to go ahead and pick one. It's going to check to make sure I have access to use this project. And if everything works well, it's going to let me go ahead and it'll hit, I can hit confirm. Next, I'm going to pick the data set location. This is for you. Where do you want your data? It's going to be close to where you are as a business, so it's easier and cheaper for you to access it. I'm going to send my data to Finland. Then I hit Next. Finally, I'm given some options. I can select the frequency of the export. There's two options. There's the streaming export, where data shows up a few minutes after it's collected by Google Analytics, and then the daily export. The daily export comes once a day, but it also includes attribution data and is considered the more golden copy of the two datas. I'm going to use both both the daily export and the streaming export. Finally, I'm going to review the, all these settings, and when I'm comfortable, I'll hit Submit. Google's going to do some thinking, and then it's going to tell me the link is created. Finally, I can go over to BigQuery, and within a few hours, my data will start to show up. So here I am in a BigQuery project, and you can see the analytics table and the event logs. So here you see events coming one after another with both the event date and the timestamp, and then the event name, along with all the event parameters that were collected, and a fairly rich data set showing me all the different things that I have collected in my Google Analytics property. And now it's my data to do with as I see fit. So with that, I've created a BigQuery link for Google Analytics. Back to you, Krista. Thank you so much for walking us through that, Brian. As you guys can see, it is super simple to now create a linking between your Google Analytics 4 property and BigQuery. So I hope you can go ahead and start taking advantage of this today.